Hello everyone, I hope you're having a blessed day. Um, today I want to show you, um, surrounded by holy, I'm sitting down right now, I just started, but I figured I'd turn my camera on, because I'm going to learn this song now in finger style. And I want to show you how I go about incorporating the uh, vocal melodies into the arrangement. I did a lesson on it a few weeks ago, but now I want to take it a step further like I always like to do in the songs. So as I told you guys, I'm not a true finger style player. This is something that I'm working on on a daily basis. And I want to show you how my mind thinks when I go about trying to incorporate it in with an arrangement. Okay, so we're going to be capo three, key of E flat. And here we go. So here's the piano part that I'm going to try to do first. Okay, so that would be the first part. So what I'm hearing there, obviously, is off a of C. And he's going. Let me hear it one more time. <laughs> now I'm learning it as we're going, so I just want you guys to know this is how I do it. Okay, so he's going. So you would go. So you're just going with the C chord. Like four times, okay? Then obviously the vocal part. Let's hear it. Okay, so we're going to we're going to do that melody. That melody seems to be the same, so it's going to be Okay, so that's it. Okay, so the melody is going to probably be the same throughout. So it's going to go. Okay, so strum. To the next chord, D minor 7. Same melody. To an A minor 7. Then it goes to a C over G. So we got to fit that in there. So we're going to go like this. Now I would probably alternate the bass notes there. I would go. So something like that. I would go. So all I'm doing is going back, like pedaling, like I tell you guys, back and forth to the C bass note. So. To the D minor. Same thing. So now I'm pedaling off the D note with that melody. But now he switches. So I'm constantly amazed where the oh yeah where the so he's going saints and angels. So that's a um, you know like playing this chord, which is a C with a G bass note. But he's adding the F. You know, to make it like a suspended chord, like a C sus with a G bass. 
So we're gonna put that melody and we're gonna, we're gonna hold these like this and then we're gonna bar these two down there. So, so far we got. Okay, so that, that's pretty good so far. Now remember, I'm learning, <laughs> I'm learning it as we're going, so I don't have the picking down yet. So this is my thought process. So I thought it would be interesting. If you don't like it, you can not watch it. <laughs> Okay, bow before you. We're gonna walk up. I hear the bass walking. Like I taught in my lesson, I think it's going. Okay, so F, B, C, D. So that's what we're, we're, we're working on. So we're gonna go. So just an F chord. And then I would put a B. We could just do it like that. So we're going to go B and then the B octave and then obviously the open B string. So it's just a B sound. So we're going to go F, B and then So we also want those high notes in there. Right? with that. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. So I would probably go. Yeah, that sounds better. So even though I want, you know, that C bass note is emphasized, I want to, I think the G sounds good in there. So And then I, I'm pretty sure it's just a, like a major seven type thing. So I'm going to go like. Um... Yeah, because I'm not going to use this string. So I'll skip that. I'll go. So it would sound like this. So that sounds cool. So we're going to go. So that sounds cool. Now from there, um, after I learned, you know, the right voicings that I want to use, then I'm going to start working on how I want to um, pick the vocal melody around it. You know, I want that vocal melody in there, but I got to figure out how to utilize the notes around it. And that's the part I always tell you guys where I don't usually concentrate too much on an exact picking pattern as much as making sure the vocal melody is right and then I'll play around with it as long as my timing is okay. Okay? So, that's that. Then it just repeats. But now he hangs on an A minor. He doesn't go to the C over G. He just hangs on that. See, same chord, A minor. Okay, now the chorus. Okay, so let's get that. So we're going holy with an F chord. So. So 
So I'd probably do something like that. So I'm just playing an F2 and I'm adding the G. Then he goes to then a uh, suspended chord. So Okay, so we're going to a G suspended, and then we're going to do that melody, and then we go to a C with an E bass note. So we're going to go. Okay, so that's probably what I would do. I would go. So I'm going. And I'm emphasizing that note on the second time. So I'm going. To the G suspended. And then I'm adding the melody. Surrounded by holy. So C over E with the same melody. So A minor seven, then do the melody again. All right, let's try one more time. Same thing, F. I'm in wondering. We gotta get that melody in there now. So we gotta go. Okay, so that's probably it right there. So I'm in wonder and no. All right, so th there's the melody. So we're gonna go. Um, Okay, so there's the, that's how I would do the chorus. That's pretty good for a rough draft. Let me do that one more time. I kind of like that. Hold on. So that's that. Um, I'm not going to mess with the verse again because it's the same. Chorus is the same. Um, then we go to the interlude. Then we're going to go to the bridge. So there we go. We got the majority of the song. Now we just let's go with the bridge. Let's see what we got. I'm going to try to do that chorus with it now so you guys can hear it. Let's see. That match pretty good. Now it goes to that intro interlude.
All right, let's pause there. So that melody, we're gonna play over these chords. We're gonna go, more that I enter in. That's an F2. D minor seven, you consume all I am. C, I lose myself in the one who's holy to an E. So we play around with that melody. We're gonna go, something like that so the more that I enter in the more so I'm just going that's the vocals so it's going the so I'm going the like a C over E then to the the vocal the more minor you consume all I am so that's what the vocal saying so with the D minor we got to do it though so I'm going so again That's it. So again. And then I lose myself. I lose myself in the one who's holy. So. I lose myself in the... <laughs> so I'm going... So that's what I'm doing. I'm going... That's the D minor 7. I'm just, I don't have to play the whole thing because I'm only utilizing as the bass. So I'm going. Then to the C. So there you go. You would pluck the C and go. To the E. The one who's holy. Okay, so there's the melody. So I would go. The more that I enter in, you consume all I am. I do, I do the like, uh. There it is. Okay, so. All right, that's it. I think that's it. Here we go, hold on. Let's try that. That works perfect. So all right, so that's how I would do it. Um, it repeats, but it does a different ending on the second part of the bridge. Let's see what they do. So that's the same. 
as we come face to face. Here's where it changes. Minor. Okay, so they hang on cry. So the second time you would go, as we come face to face, you take my breath away. A minor. All I can Okay, so a C with a, a high G. So we would go. Wait a minute. That's how you do it, okay? So one more time. It's the same thing as before. chorus so that's the whole song <laughs> 21 minutes so you see it wasn't super difficult so that's how I go about figuring out chord melody okay now from there you know after I turn this off now I'll work on the arrangement a little bit you know and uh, how I'm going to utilize the finger picking am I going to incorporate bass notes in there you know where am I going to put them you know when I go See, I'm, I'm accenting the bass note, trying to make it stand out. Take me into your secret place. When See, I'm alternating the bass note, so I'm just winging it. You see what I mean? So just play around with it. Once you, you know, slow it down, listen to the melody, get the melody in your head. That's the key. Now, I've listened to this song a bunch of times because when I was learning it and then I was teaching it on my other YouTube video, you know, I know the chords, I'm looking at them. So now it's just knowing that melody in your head and making it come out on your instrument. So that's all you see me doing. So anyways... I hope this was helpful. Um, if you want my chord chart, as always, reach out to me. I'll give it to you. If you have any questions, you can either comment or I'll leave my email. You can email me and I'd be more than happy to help you in any way that I can. And maybe um, in a week or two, I'll actually do an arrangement where I don't talk and I'll just play through this song, sort of like I just did on I've Witnessed It. Um, and uh, let me know what you guys think, and if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. All right, God bless you guys. You have a great day.